Hello, thanks for tuning in. So, um, I'm going to talk about something not in reference specifically to the book I've been working on and the talking stuff, but in reference to something completely different. That does have to do with some stuff that I had um, dealt with. So, there was this male that should not have. So there was this male I met through Fet Life um, shortly after the situation with um, the scuba diver, which was very shortly after Leslie's threats to Sean, um, and that was thwarted. I was kind of-ish dealing with that well enough until... Some other stuff. Anyway, on Fat Life, he went by either Donnie or Donnie Darko or Darko, one or the other. And this was back in 2010. And so I had told him at one point in time that I had gone to strip clubs before. Not to dance, not to perform, just to enjoy. I had very much, very much enjoy or exotic dancer clubs or whatever. I enjoy watching what they can do when doing stuff on a pole. I mean, just... Whew. Anyway, I don't mean that in a pun intended way. I mean on the actual pole. And <laughs> kind of like a maypole. Anyway, so um, the first strip club that I went to was in uh, San Antonio, Texas. I went to All Stars. And this group took me, and uh, it was John Vidal, um, also known as Celtic Cowboy on Fat Life, and then his then wife, uh, Kim Vidal, but I don't remember what her maiden name is. Met them both in the um, pagan community in San Antonio. Both of them were also in the uh, BDSM community, and um, there were a couple other people who went. They found out I had not only not ever been to a strip club, but I had never had a lap dance. So they talked with some people and they were like, hey, you know, she's never had a lap dance. So I got a surprise. I was a lap dance and she was very good. Um, but <clears throat> what happened was sit down, the DJ made an announcement and I'm like, really? Okay. Yeah. And so the music goes on, female starts dancing, and what's going on? <laughs> this is awesome. This is great. I don't want to get in trouble because I've seen some shit and I don't want to get in trouble. So I'm going to keep my hands right. See, DJ, you, since you announced, I'm, hey. <laughs> And then the female was like, oh, you can touch me. And I'm like, I'm not getting in trouble. I'm not falling for that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Keep my hands right here. Not going to do it. Nope. But I enjoyed it. And so um, later on, I had gone to All Stars a few times. Because, you know, hey. There was a point in time where... And that was, oh, I think that was 2004 or 2005 that that happened. Well, when I started volunteering at Nine Lives Books, um, there was someone who was a waitress at one of the places I went to. And one night I went into, I think it was All Stars, and... Um, I saw her and I was like, you know, I don't have a problem with what you're doing, but I want you to be safe. And my now dead ex-husband had already thrown a fit about me not getting a CHL, which was one of those, mm, I will use it. <laughs> if I get a concealed handgun license, I have a temper, I know my temper, and so I'm going to not go there 
and so I did it. But he made the recommendation that I should look into like a way to protect myself. I already have this concealed handgun license in a different way. But anyway, so um, I looked online, it was eBay, and I went for one of those, uh, and this is before I understood how I am with technology issues. Irony, I know, but anyway, so uh, I got one of those um, handheld stun guns, and when I was looking at it, I'm like, that doesn't seem like a big number. So I looked for the biggest number I could find in one of the handheld um, zappy things to the, the stun gun things. And I looked at the different ones. It was like 300,000 volts or something like that. And I had to laugh when I got it in the mail because I was reading the instructions and I'm like, hold on the perpetrator for no longer than however many seconds it was. And I was like, yeah, I don't fucking think so. If I'm being attacked, which, you know, that's not. But, you know, <laughs> if I'm being attacked. I am not going to stand there and be like, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. And then the other thing was like, you were supposed to ask the one who's attacking you if they have a pacemaker, it's like, excuse me, hold up a second. <laughs> Do you have a pacemaker? Because I know you're about to attack and stuff like that, but do you, do you, do you have to, kidding me, you coming at me? I'm gonna defend myself. And so, besides, I technically lose, like after the, the number, well, technically the number two, I have to start using my fingers to count. So, <laughs> eh. anyway, so it had this little um, pin, kind of like a grenade-ish, if you think about it, that had a bracelet. And so you put the, <laughs> I'm just going to use this as an example. So it had this little pin, and you put the pin in, and then you wrap the bracelet and then if the person who's attacking you takes it away from you, you can't, they, they can't use the thing, or well, they can't use the zappy thing on you because you have the pin out of it. So, you know, it's, it's not something that could be used or whatever in that regard. And so when I went to All Stars, um, I had had that stun gun for like, three or four months at that point in time. And when I saw the female that was a waitress at the vanilla is the term, um, location, but then saw her at all stars, I was like, Hmm, something's telling me that I need to, like, I'm just getting this feeling. I shouldn't say something's telling me. I, I should say I'm getting this feeling that you need this more than I do. So I showed her how to use it. I told her about it. I was like, you know, I don't know why. I just feel like I have to give this to you. So I did. And didn't think much about it. I mean, I wrote about it later, but not really, like, not that it wasn't a big deal. It was just one of those, okay. And so, um, a <laughs> few months go by and go check in to... All stars, you know, the house mom does her thing, and you know, okay. And um, go to walk in the back, going around the kind of semicircle area, and got this female who jumps on top of me, wraps her legs around me the way I give hugs in some ways, and then just, oof, okay, I gotta make sure that she doesn't get hurt, but I don't get hurt, I don't know what's going on, fall to the ground. And then she's on top of me, and she's like, thank you. Oh my god, I'm so glad you finally came in. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? So I get up, and she goes, points me out to the house mom. She goes, this is, pointing to me, she goes, this is the one who gave me the stun gun. And the house mom was like, you're the one who saved her? And I was like, I don't know what's going on. Apparently, she had a stalker, and when um, she left the club, 
Um, she wound up being able to have that to use. And then that particular stalker apparently had a long history of doing really, really, really bad things. Like he had duct tape and um, rope in the back of his trunk um, and a bunch of other stuff. And so I was like, well, I'm glad you survived. And she's like, the house mom was like, what are you drinking? And I'm like, oh, I don't drink. And she goes, no, 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 no. What, what, what can I, you know, you can have top shelf. Da, da, da. It's like, I appreciate it. I, I, I don't drink alcohol. I can't. She goes, what do you mean? So I explained the head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. And then at that time, I also didn't know about like hangovers really badly affecting my headaches. And so, you know, I, and plus which I was going to drive and I was like, you know, and she was like, I, uh, well, you know what, whatever you want, that's not alcohol. And I'm like, eh, coffee. <laughs> I like coffee. <laughs> that's it. I, and I am a lightweight because like I could take a shot of Bailey's and use it as creamer. <laughs> and then by the time, like just about half of the, <laughs> the Bailey's. <laughs> I am so drunk. <laughs> so drunk. So drunk. And then I have a really bad hangover and I deal with headaches and migraines and that's not a good thing. That's just... Anyway. So, I told Philly about that and he was like, you did what? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, well, why did you do that? I was like, to keep her safe. And it wound up being a good thing, you know, who knew? Uh, well, I guess I did. Anyway, so when in Cedar Park one night, I'm like, hey, you know, I want to check out this club called Palacios. And I had already, by the, by that time, it was the first time I went, or maybe the second time, and um, sat down. This female sits with us that knows or knew Philip. And, or titty baby Philly, whatever, and um, they're talking, go out to leave, and my purse wound up, you know, going where I throw it, and it popped open, and this little gold purse comes out, and I was like, where'd that come from, and titty baby Philly goes, oh, that, that must be so-and-so's, I was like, who, which one? Like, I've talked with a couple of the different dancers. He goes, oh, you know, just drive up to the front and I'll bring it up. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, should give it to her. I mean, obviously, if that's her purse, you know, go ahead and give it to her. So, he takes it in. We leave. There have been multiple times that I've been there since I did take the individual home. I want to I'll just stay with it and all that thing. But when going there, I I might have might have gone there a few times between uh, Titty Baby Philly and then that you know Chip and Newer Nose Junior. And um, just maybe maybe a few times where they recognized me. <laughs> but also because, you know, I I, I I did defend the females. And it's really good to read nowadays that they have a lot more rights and stuff like that. It still is, you know, one of those, um, I, I know myself. <laughs> That's why I, I wouldn't, yeah, yeah, it would be bad. Um, <clears throat> but uh, if I were to, yeah, uh, <laughs> keep your hands to yourself. I don't care how drunk you are. I don't do, do not, nope. And um, plus I'm very, particular on that. Um, that's something... I'm girly, I admit it. I can be whatever, but like, yeah, I kind of am girly on that. Anyway, so, go into Palacios. I have... <laughs> I told the guy, I was like, I've been here a couple of times, and so that I know that this place is a good place to go. And so... We start walking up to the stairs area, 
and the bouncers come over and they're like, Susan, it's been a while. And they give me hugs and I'm like, hey, what's going on, you guys? Because I helped out in a few situations. And <laughs> it's what it is. Plus keeping the dancers safe and all that. And so, oh, da, da, da. And Jesse, my now ex, looks at me and he's like, a few times? I'm like, well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> A, a, a few, baby. I don't know. Like a few is more than than three. So you know, I don't. I I don't know how many times I've been, but I can't count that high without. <laughs> so <clears throat> go in, and this was very similar in regards to all stars as well, and so anyone who went with me as long as. They were respectful to the dancers, you know, no problem. Well, get in line. And the house mom goes, excuse me. And, she, you know, this guy's about to hand her money. And she's like, uh-uh, nope, come here. And I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> house mom gives me a hug. I'm like, hey. <laughs> and then, you know, she... <laughs> goes back after we talked a little bit and <laughs> Jesse looks at me and he's like the house mom knows you and I'm like I mean you know and I know that there are probably mainly males who understand this <laughs> more so than, than females in certain regards <clears throat> And I'm just like, well, you know, I, I, I said I've been here a couple of times. So then, <laughs> then we, you know, we, we pay to go in and Jesse's behind me and he's like, so you've only been here a, a, a few or a couple, I don't know, like, I don't count. I'm not good at numbers, leave me alone. <laughs> like, So walk into the area, you know, where the, the, the waitresses, you know, take you to a table and a bunch of the waitresses are, Susan! And I'm like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> and they give me a hug and they're like, oh, do you want your usual table? And then... <laughs> boyfriend and they were like oh you are dating her all right I have to send the manager over to speak with you oh is everything okay I know it's been a while since I've seen <laughs> I see the manager <laughs> dancers come over as usual at some point you know it's a little rotate because you know the way they do the dancing and stuff and so I have a dancer on one lap a dancer on the other lap a dancer that's on one of the chairs another dancer on one of the other chairs and I got a dancer sitting behind me on the chair and then you know my now ex-boyfriend Jesse has you know almost but not as many you know similarly and I was like, there's one that I know you've got to see how she dances. She's so amazing. <laughs> like, she's, like, she's Ukrainian and she does this stuff and just, uh, oh, wow. And so I got him a lap dance from her and he was just like, yeah, wow. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. 
telling me I've watched her and just been like, how do you do that? That's amazing. That's really cool. And so, but that was at Palacios and stuff. And so, <laughs> later, I realized how that must have looked because, like, there's all these other males that are like, here. Money? Money? <laughs> and the dancer's like, mm -mm, we're, we're, we're talking with her. Mm -mm, yeah, well, it's just, when we're <laughs> done talking with her, meaning me, you know, we'll, we'll get to you. But when we're done talking with her, because, like... <laughs> And so, you know, usually I, I would guesstimate it's mainly males who wind up dealing with that. <laughs> and so I thought it was something funny to, I mean, ish, but yeah. And so, <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've, I've. I've enjoyed a, a lap dance or two, I don't deny it. It has been quite enjoyable to watch. But I still keep my hands up. <laughs> I'm not getting in trouble. <laughs> I'm a little weird. But yeah, so, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> you guys have a good one.